doesn't seem right, you know? I mean, it's part of life and everything, but it just doesn't seem natural. I know, Steven, I know. But look, there isn't really anything we can do about it, is there? I guess not. It's tough. Your own death seems so distant. You never really notice it until you lose someone close. I know. Yeah, of course you know. Look, Steven, this isn't something you can just ignore. You can read, you can watch TV, you can have a conversation with your best friend, but none of that's gonna make death go away. I'm sorry, but uh, hey, there's worse ways to die, right? You're about that factory worker in Cambodia who's working around a vat of sulfuric acid? Fell right in. He got out in time, but the acid stayed on him. He made it outside, but all they found were some bones in the grass. I mean, at least that'll never happen to you, right? Or, or cannibals. You'll, you'll never be eaten by cannibals in your situation. That's something. This isn't, isn't helping. Well, it's hard convincing someone to stop fearing death in a matter of minutes. And seriously, try it sometime. You remember when Granddad died, right? He lived his whole life, met all those people, and he even fought in World War II. When he died, he didn't remember any of it. Alzheimer's. Does that make his life worthless? No. He still had an impact. I'm only 17. So? That doesn't mean you didn't have an effect on anyone. People are gonna remember you, Steven. You don't have to worry about that. I just don't feel ready, alright? Will you ever be ready?